Hey there, Bremerton. This is education reporter Chris Henry. Welcome to the Bremerton Beat Blast, coming to you from Bremerton High School, where I'm filling in for your host, Josh Farley. This week, the Beat Blast will be taking a field trip to see what's new in schools around Kitsap County. But don't worry, we'll circle back here to the high school with some exciting news for students and the community. As always, we have five stories for you. Stay tuned. Story number one. When Klahalia students returned to school this fall, they had a brand new wing of 15 new classrooms on two stories. They had a new auxiliary gym and a new choir room. I'm Katie Ragsdale and I'm in 11th grade. The first time I walked into this room, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's like it's a college campus. It's so, it's new, it's pretty, and it, it smells nice. I like that everyone had this sort of new energy and they're all excited about this new part of the school. Story number two, construction is well underway here at Olympic High School where the commons is complete as well as new technical and career education classrooms. There's new art classrooms, music. Uh, the students are getting great use out of the commons which is bright and airy. Let's find out what students think about the new construction project. We are here with... Tysaia Williams. Tysaia, what grade are you in? I'm a junior, so 11th grade. Awesome. Um, so what was your impression when you walked into school at the start of the school year? The first word that came to mind was wow. Like just seeing how everything is so simple yet intricate, it just really brightens up the mood and it makes us excited to come to school. And being teenagers, we love taking pictures and all that, so it's just like photogenic places everywhere, so it's amazing. You and your fellow students spent a year basically working around a construction yeah. zone. Um, how is it now that the work is done? What is the feeling? It's so amazing. Like, we would always talk about how it was like a journey to get from class to class. Like, you could be right here, but have to walk all the way around to get there. And it's so much more spacious, like I said before. So it's fun that I can see my friend and don't have to, like, call and be like, hey, I know you're two steps away from me, but we have to walk a block to get there. So it's just really exciting. Story number three, the construction frenzy continues here on the campus of what will be a new Central Kitsap High School and Central Kitsap Middle School. Crews are working on a 300,000 square foot building with one wing dedicated to high school students and another for middle school students that's joined in the middle by a shared auditorium and kitchen. Students in both middle school and high school will share a separate building dedicated to career and technical education. The campus includes an athletic complex that has turf fields for football, soccer, baseball, softball, new tennis courts, and a new track. The new center at Kitsap Middle School will open this spring, and the high school will follow this fall. Story number four. We're here on the campus of Chief Kitsap Academy, operated by the Suquamish Tribe. The school moved this fall to a property formerly owned by the Northwest College of Art, but traditionally used by the Suquamish tribe. Chief Kitsap Academy, with about 80 students, was the first tribal compact school in Washington State. Within a tribal school, we can offer uh, Lushootseed language. Uh, students have up to three years with a, within high school, and they have Healing of the Canoe, a curriculum that was designed and written by the Suquamish tribe. The students also have cultural teachings of cedar weaving, wool weaving, drum making. We have an outstanding song and dance program. My favorite thing I like about the school is the song and dance. And sometimes I sing, but dancing is like my thing. I'm royalty for the tribe myself, and being able to participate on a daily basis at school really helps build my character and build who I am as a person because I want to continue this for my whole life because it's just something that I like to do and it's who I am. Story number five. five. I'm here with Bremerton School Superintendent Aaron Lavelle with some exciting news for theater goers. Aaron, tell us about it. Yeah, thanks, Chris. So uh, this year, uh, thanks to our 2016 capital levy, we are putting some of those funds towards renovating our performing arts theater at Bremerton High School. We are investing about $800,000 um, into things like new seating, 
Uh, the entire theater will be painted uh, to kind of match school colors. All new curtains, uh, down rigging, uh, sound equipment, everything in there is going to be renovated since uh, the first time since the school opened in 1988. Every student in Bremerton High has the opportunity to be inside the theater at least once a month. We also have many groups uh, that put on over 100 shows a year that are community users. So it is, uh, it's probably the most used facility in the city of Bremerton. And finally, what's on tap for your weekend? Sponsored by Silver City Brewery. This Sunday is the 10th annual Kitsap Grown Harvest Dinner, hosted by Kitsap Community and Agricultural Alliance. The dinner, September 30th at Olympic College, features the work of top chefs from around Kitsap County and locally sourced ingredients. At 2 p.m., there's a free panel discussion on feeding the future. Doors open at 4 p.m. with dinner at 5.30 p.m. Get tickets at brownpapertickets.com. That wraps up this edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast. We'll see you next time.